is the second no. rate second city. Put no. that on your news. You're not going to put it on. <laughs> Earlier, we watched the start of the game with a real piece of White Sox history. 93-year-old Milt Bozek is the oldest living White Sox player. I think they can go all the way. However, baseball is funny, and any team can beat the any other any other team at any time. Born in Cicero, Bosek played outfield for the Sox in 1933 and 1934 and counted among his teammates some of the greatest players in Sox history. And then we had Ted Lyons, Luke Epling, and Zeke Manura. Some pretty good players. All good players. Bosick is a proud member of the White Sox Alumni Club and watches every game from his apartment at a Brookfield retirement home. He says baseball keeps him going. From day to day, I, I, that's all I, what I have look, to look for to what the Sox are going to do. And believe it or not, if they win, I'm happy. And if they lose, I hurt. And if they win it? If they win it, I'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. So I haven't got much to lose. <laughs> and you can bet Milt is smiling right now. As a matter of fact, he played in Fenway Park for those White Sox teams back in the early 30s. He also played in Yankee Stadium with Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig on the Yankees. He said he went two for three in that particular game. Milt says he is absolutely looking forward to the Sox going all the way. So are these fans out here, as you can hear. Corey, I'm going to send it back to you inside where maybe you can hear yourself. I can't out here. <laughs> Dan, that's a great story. Dave Placco live just outside Sox Park. And as we throw it back to Robin and Mark in the studio, guys, little fact to consider.